Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I'm going to attempt to show you how to draw something like this. Hopefully, I'll make it a little bit better. I've actually got a new photograph I'm going to try. So, there are several ways to do this, but I'm going to take a two-point line, and I'm going to make that line a half-inch line. Now, you know what? I'm going to make it a quarter-inch line. But, I'm going to turn it into an object. I don't know why that did that. Convert to an object. Okay. Now I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And I'm going to nudge it down. I'm going to make my squares a little bit bigger this time. So because I nudged it down that far, control D will nudge it the same distance. Now I'm going to control G to group, control D to duplicate. And I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Now I'm going to take everything and weld it. And by welding it, I don't have to do this, but I'm going to take away these outer edges. So now I've just got these blocks, but I'm going to left click, right click. So now what I have is a group of blocks. I'm actually going to elongate it so it'll kind of fit our picture. That's pretty good. Now you could just do this. Matter of fact, let's just do it. Let's make a duplicate of both. Put them down here. Let's bring this one into our deal. We need to be able to see the boxes through our picture. Now we can go here and we can go intersect. And what that did, that intersected the photo out of it. So you've kind of got a border. Pretty cool. Now, I guess I didn't have to make a copy because I could just use this one. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to go to the, the envelope tool. I don't want any side notes. I'm going to delete them. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to move it up. And we could also, um, if we select both these and use, well, I'm not going to get that way. Let's just see. You could do that by selecting both. You could double click and add a node. So I'm trying to get kind of a wave effect, double click. And just, you know, uh, however you think it looks good uh, is your you know, artistic ability will let you, I'm going to, I'm going to call that good. The, my, now my picture doesn't really fit in there. So what I can do, I'm going to just take it and I'm going to expand it. So my picture will fit in there. Of course, it's not going to fit all the waves. Um, I made my waves too big, but I'm going to make them stretched out a little bit. So I just want to make my picture in there. So my waves aren't really going to be affected, but I can move the picture where it's going to have few more waves and I've got all the picture in there and all I have to do now is intersect it and by doing that I've created that now the picture didn't wave I wasn't thinking about that uh, let's back up here thankfully I've still got the old one what I should have done is you could take this original and grab your uh, envelope tool and delete those. And then you could wave your picture, as you can see, and you can add nodes and, and make it make it almost, this is how a good way to make a flag, like a waving flag in the, and you can always grab the side and do stuff like that. You know, you could actually come down. Anyway. I hope that was useful to somebody and thank you for watching.